so sorry like that. Hello guys, so today is New Year's Eve and I decided to film a get ready to film and get ready with me. As I do my makeup, I'm going to um, answer some questions that um, I posted on my story for people to leave questions and um, I received a lot. So let's get started. What is my skincare slash morning routine? My morning routine is, I don't have a morning routine. I usually just wake up, make breakfast. But skincare routine, I'm actually gonna do it right now um, because I usually do it before I do my makeup. And I just got out of the shower and I blow dry my hair. So yeah. So for my first, the first thing that I do is use this witch hazel that um, my sister bought and I just pat the witch hazel in my face. If you could do whatever you want for one day, what would you do? Um, that's tough because I don't know what I would do. Probably sleep. Or actually, no, I would travel. Um, I've been to, I've been to two countries. Yeah, two countries. I've been to South Korea and the Philippines. That's the only two. Next, I'm going to be using the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. If you could only listen to only one song from Fine Line, what would it be? Ooh, that's a toughie. Cause I love all the songs from Fine Line. Yeah, I probably listened to She, cause it was my top song of 2020 for my Spotify Wrapped. Yeah, I've been trying to learn the guitar solo for She, and um, yeah, I've been trying to get that down, but. I haven't gotten it, only the beginning. But yeah, I listen to She. I love the guitar solo that Mitch does and I love Harry's voice. Um, but yeah. Next I'm gonna go in with the rose water glycerin that my sister bought again. Favorite small businesses you discovered this year? I have a lot. Um, I follow a lot of Harry related ones. There, there's gonna be a list of them down below that I follow. Um, I can name some at the top of my head. Made to be chic. Um, Angelic Memoir. They're both Filipino owned, I believe. And they have really cute stickers. And Made to be chic has really cute um, tote bags. Uh, Lovers and Lace. They have really cute sweaters. Um, I really do love them. Um, what else? Uh, Rainbow Paradise. Really cute. Uh, earrings shop Kikai also has really cute earrings yeah I'll list them down below I don't have um, I can't name them at the top of my head but there's a lot I've been meaning to buy from but yeah support your small businesses okay I'm gonna put some um, lip balm on five stores to shop at just a lot of small businesses to be honest like I get really much of my hairy like related shirts from small businesses my clothes in general, I usually get them on sale at like Target, like the jeans I'm wearing. You can't see them, but um, I get my most of my pants from Target and dresses, if they're on sale, I get them on Target. The, the tops I wear, most of them I got a long time ago and they're mostly thrifted clothes. I've been shopping a lot, a lot at Depop, on Depop and it's pretty good yeah most of my clothes are thrifted and i bought a long time ago i don't really tend to buy new tops a lot i usually buy them like second hand this top that i'm wearing right now is actually a dress i just tucked it in my pants and um it's from shein i do not support support shein um i bought this a while ago before like i found out about like what they do if you don't want to support those type of unethical environments, you know? So, yeah. I'm gonna do my eyebrows with the Wet n Wild uh, brow pencil. HS1 or Fine Line? I mean like in eras or the album? Because I very much, like in terms of eras, um, HS1 really is, a, will always be in my heart. But album wise, I kinda like Fine Line more. Fine line just hits like falling sunflower adore you which i do not take any of the slander that adore you or watermelon sugar gets 
um even though watermelon sugar is repetitive but still it was my favorite song in the beginning until radio station started um you're playing it over and over again and it became annoying for me how have you been and what have you been up to i've been okay um i'm currently a freshman shoot currently a freshman uh in college i just had my first sem i finished my first semester online um a few weeks ago and it was stressful um my major i recently switched it because it's, it was too stressful and i had an epiphany that i didn't want to do that for like in the long run so like i had to change it so i can be like more happier mentally and it's definitely in the field that i want to um i want to be in i used to be a computer engineering major um it was fun coding and like learning all that but it caused me so much pain in terms of like mental breakdowns and just um that's why i switched i watched a lot of shows this this these past few months um i re-watched um the first four seasons of american horror story but i watched the politician which is really really good i love the politician um i finished hollywood oh i cried so hard i recently finished fleabag fleabag if you if you guys have amazon prime video please watch fleabag it's funny it's sad it's witty it's dark it's everything that i wanted in the tv show yeah i've been okay mentally um it got better after the semester ended for um the fall i start again in like a month in uh at the end of january favorite album of 2020 probably future nostalgia by dua lipa i don't know it's good it's it was so good like it was like my quarantine tracks like in the beginning of the whole pandemic like i would listen to it like religiously every freaking chance i get i just love the 80s like vibe it has and like i don't know that was one of or is dua's best album now i'm gonna go in with my elf my elf eyebrow gel i just run it through okay i don't clean up my eyebrows i just leave them as be and now i'm gonna do my my face i'm gonna use the elf 16 hour camo concealer in light beige like on the corner right here right here and i put a little bit because it's really it gets really cakey really fast what's well, a song that may, always makes you cry a lot of songs actually but it depends on my mood usually like one that always hits and make like like wells me up in tears is always by rex orange county that song something about that song just makes me so sad like always in addition by rex orange county it makes me cry a lot now i'm gonna go in with the fit me um powder face powder what's uh what's something you think about a lot but not many people know i think about a lot of things like I think about I think about my future too much and it just scares me. Like I don't I don't know why I do it to myself, but I I think about my future too much for my liking. Like I get scared thinking about my future. Like will I succeed? Will I not? And I don't know. I feel like that's just everybody, but I just feel like I overthink about it too much. Oh, by the way, I'm using the blush, the ColourPop blush stick. But yeah, that's that's one thing I think about a lot is my future. Like in college and academic academically like how am i gonna survive how am i gonna do this and this and that i'm going in with the pixie petra blush in beach rose to shorten it i think about my future way too much and it gives me so much anxiety and i shouldn't be doing that you know i should be living my life in the present and just being thankful for what i have right now next question is if you could go if you could bring back someone from from the dead, who would it be? I'd bring back David Bowie. He was a really good um, musician. Or Michael Jackson. It's between those two, David Bowie or Michael Jackson. Because their music was legendary and I loved it. Uh, I grew up listening to Michael Jackson even though I was scared of him as a kid because I watched the Thriller video when I was like, I don't know, I forgot how old I was. 
and I got really scared when he turned back and he started like laughing maniacally. Yeah, I was I was always scared of him, but I, I love this music. I grew up with this music. Uh, what's a world war problem you wish to, you could solve overnight? There's two. Um, racism or global warming? Because um, those are very prominent right now and it scares me a lot because every single day I see stuff on my on social media about another um another black person being um mistreated by uh or killed by by the police or someone in power and it makes my heart wrench or seeing seeing like natives like struggle and like begging for help and like asking for like boosts and to share all the things it, it, it really, for real just it breaks my heart seeing it and i wish i can solve everything with global warming as well like it's it's scary we live on like this planet and we're deteriorating minute by minute because of what we do as humans and it, it scares me a lot because you know i want to live on this earth we want to we have to take care of it I'm really bad with words like I can't elaborate more like I don't know how to put it into words verbally but I can put it into words non-verbally like written if that makes sense again I'm so sorry what's your favorite feature about yourself is this physically or like like personality wise because I'm always open to doing stuff I like that about myself um open-minded and stuff if it's physically I like my lips and my eyes. I'm just gonna take it on the bronzer and just bronze up my eye. Where do you want to see yourself in 10 years? Married, have kids, or top, or top in your career? My dream job is to be working behind the scenes on like a film set or like marketing for a film set. Um, just wanted to do something that has to do with movies. I want to work. This is a reach. This is a real reach. But I want to work on like SNL. I don't know. I I love watching it and I love seeing the, the behind the scenes of it all, like the rush and like the struggle and like how it comes together at the end, which is kind of crazy because everything's live and stuff. I'll be in New York and like my dream apartment, which is like a studio or like a small apartment, because I love living in a small space like that. Someone there, hopefully. But yeah, hopefully someone's there with me, living with me for the dog. I don't think I'll be having kids by then because I don't know if I want to have kids yet to be honest because it just never crossed my mind like I want to have kids but then again I don't it's just a whole dilemma I'm gonna curl my lashes my sister's in the room describe your aesthetic or style and what it what and if it wasn't that what would it be I don't have I don't know someone brought up a good point on TikTok I saw a TikTok recently about like aesthetics and styles like people tend to lean on a specific aesthetic and style and say that they're that like that's their whole like brand and whole purpose um what do you call it they had a point on like how we shouldn't be like labeling ourselves as one thing we should like you know do it differently because that's exactly how i am i don't have a specific aesthetic or style but hopefully I, if that i hopefully that does make sense though like my aesthetic is a wide range between like flowy uh cottage core 70s theme like that pretty much that to like streetwear high beast y2k type you know my makeup kind of looks fire today i'm gonna go in with this this color what's been keeping you going during 2020 honestly me i learned a lot about myself in 2020 like i don't have to be this specific person you know like i don't know i, I feel like i found a lot of myself in 2020 and the, the thing keeping me going aside from my family is me because I learned how to know my worth this year. Um, I would want to like reach a certain like degree of like, oh, I want to be like her or oh, I want to I wanna do this because she's doing it. I want to do this because da 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 da. Um, I learned that I don't have to be those type of things and I just have to do me because at the end of the day, this is me. This is me. I don't have to like follow like a certain type of blueprint, you know, I can do myself. 
basically. I just like listened to that right now and I realized how narcissistic that sounded. But truly, like me, this like this whole year faced a lot, like a lot, a lot. But I feel like I found myself through that process of struggling um, and just not giving up myself because I used to think that I wasn't like okay for people, you know? Um, I'm gonna line my lips with the NYX Professional lip pencil and I believe it's ever. I found a lot of myself in 2020 and I hope that I get better in 2021. Like in terms of like loving myself because I'm still on that road. I am gonna carry this energy in 2021 because this is really good. Papa Little take me to some bigger places. But my makeup looks nice. I'm not gonna add lashes. I don't think I'm gonna add lashes. I'm gonna do my hair and I'll be right back. And we're back. I'm gonna wear these earrings that my sister got me for Christmas. Aww. Cute. Very cute. Very cute. I'm wearing gold jewelry this new year. Um, these pearls are from my friends, my friend Alicia's shop. You guys should go check her out because she makes really good jewelry. I plugged her before in my last video and just her jewelry is really good. Like, what do you call it? I got these earrings, these mushroom earrings from her. And I got orange rocks. I think I'm gonna work with these pearls because it's been a while since I wore them and I wanna wear them because I feel like my neck is bare. So let's try it. I'm gonna straighten my bangs because I'm getting real annoyed. Real annoyed with these. So I'll be back. Okay, now I think I look cute. Look at that, my bangs. Yes. I feel really nice. Let me show you the fit real quick. Okay, don't mind my, the mess in the back, but this is my top. Again, this is from Shein. This is uh, actually a dress. Um, It's a dress I wore for my birthday when I turned 18. Um, Yeah. But I tucked it into my pants. Don't mind the laundry, but these are my pants. This belt I've been having for hella long. Um, people I went to school with know this belt because I wore it every single day. I'm gonna wear my shoe, my 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 big my big boy boots. My big girl boots. I got this from Koi Footwear, vegan, and fake leather. I think that's what they're known for. They're really cool. They're really nice. I feel like a bad bitty in these, so yeah i hope you guys like this video i have yet to post more videos it's because i i have these ideas but i don't write them down and i forget and i don't have anything to do for a video so if you guys would like to see anything from me um please let me know leave it in the comments what what kind of videos you guys want to see because i want to do a lot of videos because i miss editing and i recently got a new mic and i want to use it but yeah, hopefully I can utilize that mic in future videos. But let me know what you guys want to see, because I want to do a lot. Be fashion videos, more makeup videos, um, device videos, more questions. Don't know. Let me know, please. Yeah, let me, let me know what you want to see from me, because I truly don't know sometimes what I want to do. Um, I usually get my ideas from like other videos. If not, my friend Jenny tells me what to do. <laughs> Um, happy New Year, happy 2021, F2020, we're just, we are still in a pandemic, so please stay home, wear a mask, social distance, please. Don't know how to end my videos, I never learned how to end or start my videos, so thank you very much for watching, I love every single one of you, goodbye.